Right now at the Ponch Train Expressway, where some big changes happened about an hour ago. New traffic signals for some of the on ramps are now working. The Department of Transportation says this should help traffic move better along the US 90 corridor. WDSU reporter Casey Fran live now in the CBD with a closer look at how all this is working. Casey. Yeah, the DOTD actually activated seven of these ramp meters within the last hour as rush hour traffic is starting to ramp up. One of those lights is right behind us here at the Barone Street on ramp, and it seems to be having some technical difficulties right now because it's been gone on and off. Uh, there it came back on just now. But yeah, right now, this is what it looks like. This is how uh, it works. So you'll get a stop and go traffic signal that'll control how frequently vehicles can enter the flow of traffic on the freeway. And they'll function during peak traffic hours on weekdays and during special events from 6.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 3 to 7 p.m. every weekday. There are uh, seven of the ramps. Uh, seven, uh, three of them are on the riverbound direction and four on lakebound direction. The traffic management system is set up to reduce congestion, improve safety and travel times. And DOTD says data shows that ramp meters can reduce crashes by up to 30 percent. And we're very optimistic that the, the insulation will, will reduce the, the, the amount and the severity of, of merging conflicts on onto the uh, freeway with, with the ramp traffic and, and to uh, promote and, and to have greater efficiency of the mainline traffic traveling. Okay, so the ramp here on Barone Street is working again, and you can kind of see right now people are actually following uh, and obeying and adjusting to this new traffic system. And coming up at 5 o'clock, I'll give you a, a detailed information about whether or not you could be ticketed by law enforcement if you do not obey these new traffic laws. Reporting in the CBD, I'm Casey Ferran. Back to you.